If you guys need FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out x3game.com. Their link will be down in the description. Use code CAPGUN to get yourself a discount. You right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to episode number 3 of Milan Manchester Madrid and as you can see we're going to start this episode off by diving into our trade pile. We've done bits, you saw the trading method in the last episode, if you missed it go back and watch it. Effectively what we're doing is sniping Turkish League Silvers because everyone needs them for the squad builder challenge. We're picking them up for about 350 coins and you can see the sort of, well, the sort of prices I'm getting for some of these guys. 1700 coins there just being one of a a few that have been going for over the 1.5k to 2k mark. It's actually a ridiculous uh, training method and as you can see I'm straight back on it picking up some more players. We've got Easy. He'll sell for an Easy 500 coins. You can see we're already up to 56,000 coins which probably is the most coins that I've ever been on in any Road to Glory series I've ever done in the space of three episodes. That's just like absolute mentalness that we've got over 56k in three episodes. But anyway, you can see that I'm still picking them up, picking more and more up. I got an Mnes a second ago for like 200 coins. There was another silver there. This guy is a great one to pick up. Boy, I picked him up for I think 350 coins. And as you can see, there are none on the market for under 2.4k. So we should be able to list them up for maybe 2.3 and make a whole load of coins. Now, one of the orders of the day is going to be to go away and finish off these stuff starter objectives, they're really getting on my nerves, I haven't finished them all, we need to get a green link, we need to play an offline season match as well and I believe we need to play another offline, it's like the same, it's like the same flipping challenge twice on that, on that, um, on that thing, except one of them's a win and one of them's just playing, so we should be able to complete two. So that's the first thing we're going to be doing today, is we are going to um, be playing an offline single match, which I really hate doing. Because I just can't see the point of it. I'm never going to get all the way through divisions because there's no way I'll be playing that many offline single player season games. Anyway, you can see here that um, it was a pretty dull game. I mean, in terms of goals, it was an absolute rout. But really, you know, I'm not going to show all those goals because it's against a very easy computer and no one wants to see that. It's all just the same. Ended up being 17-0. You can see we managed to sell the two players that hadn't sold from the last trading uh, session. And here's all the stuff that I picked up in that little trading session you saw me doing just a second ago. Um, I do like to just show you me actually doing some of the trading just so you guys can see that it is all legit and you can see that I'm picking the players up for the prices I'm saying I'm picking them up for and then I'm able to relist them at the prices you can see through the, the uh, compare price so that you know that I'm not doing any funky uh, business behind the scenes as I uh, imagine some probably have on other series. Anyway, you can see here that we um, we get some stuff for uh, completing those starter challenges. Nothing too exciting. A two-player pack uh, that had Rondon in it which was untradeable. This is a fantastic gift pack. Um, a well, it's a silver gift pack and it's got bullet in it. And just when you thought you couldn't see enough Turkish League silvers, this is the best one because it turns out, I originally thought I'd sniped him when I went and looked back, but when I looked back at the footage, I realised that I hadn't sniped him. I got him in the gift pack. He's worth over 5k. So, um, yeah, a little silver reward pack gives us 5,000 coins for absolutely nothing, just completing those challenges. So it is worth doing them. As you can see, just by in my experience, I've already made a whole load of coins. This gold gift pack wasn't so impressive, but as you can see, we've now got the final set to do. We need to get some chemistry. We need to do a squad builder challenge. We need to do a squad battle, which I haven't done yet. And we also need to list a player on the market. I mean, some of this stuff is pretty uh, basic stuff. But again, we'll keep on fighting for them and just get them all out of the way so that we don't have to think about them anymore. Now, we're going into squad battles. This is something that I was uh, pretty excited about. I, I mean, I don't like playing offline, but everyone's been raving about it. So I thought, you know what? It's time to get involved. Now, I don't play against a computer very often, so I don't really know what difficulty I should be playing it on. So I start off by playing it on, dif uh, on professional. Now, I have been made aware by quite a few people that professional is actually quite difficult and you can't get as many match points as you you can if you go for one of the higher um, divisions or the difficulties. World class is apparently one of the hardest. I think it's the second hardest, I believe. Now, uh, legendary is relatively easy in comparison to professional, in my opinion, and world class. So if you're not already playing it on legendary, start playing it on legendary straight away because you'll be able to get yourself so many more points and... Uh, yeah, it just makes sense because it's actually kind of easier because the computer will attack you rather than just sitting back and trying to counter-attack like the other two difficulties do. Uh, leaves it more open at the back and uh, yeah, you can uh, score some more goals. Anyway, unfortunately, uh, we're playing in this professional match as I had no idea that Legendary was actually easier and uh, you can see I'm struggling. We've got a 2-1 here in the 80th minute but computer, I believe, does as computer does and... Uh, 
yeah, Pieters, of all people, scores an absolute banging finesse. We're in the 95th minutes because we have to play extra time and Santon comes out of nowhere. Absolute scorching goal from the man. He puts it in uh, top right and that was how the game ended in extra time. You can see there that I'm only going to get 925 points, whereas if I'd done that on Legendary, I'd be looking at about 1,900 points. Now, I've already set myself back a little bit because I didn't do the first couple of days of this squad build or this squad battles, um, which means that I won't be able to sort of probably push into the top 100 and um, it may actually stop me from pushing into the elite one elite two category but we'll have to see because um, after playing maybe a couple of them I started to actually enjoy them which is kind of weird considering I've never been a PC player now you just saw me do a squad builder challenge to get that challenge out of the way um, and you can see me doing some more training because my motto is if it ain't broke don't fix it so just keep on grinding away making coins on FIFA is a grind this doesn't feel like such a grind because I'm making so many coins but you know I am doing the training sessions for maybe half an hour at a time and uh, for those people that say oh Tom you, you did a method on it you showed everyone how to do it in yesterday's video um, it doesn't work anymore I couldn't, I couldn't disagree with you more because I've been using it ever since that and I, I've filled up an entire trade pile as you'll see in a, a later episode um, just as sort of like proof that you know YouTuber releasing a method doesn't necessarily ruin it. Some methods it does kind of ruin but uh, it appears this Turkish League silver thing is just going to keep on uh, working. Right so we've got to um, quickly uh, redeem all of the final challenges in the starter section. Uh, you can see we get some uh, free packs and stuff like that. And uh, we finish it off with a premium gold pack, which I guess 7.5k pack isn't too bad after doing, you know, stuff that you probably should be doing anyway throughout your time on Ultimate Team. You don't actually have to sort of like target do them either like I did. You could just do them over time and you just do them naturally because surely you end up playing all of the things that you need to play to actually complete it. So... There you go, we don't get anything in the pack unfortunately, we do get a Serie A player so I decided to keep him just in case um, we needed him in our team. But yeah, it's not it's not looking too bad, I'm, I'm, I'm relatively happy with how the series is going, we're at 8-0-1 at the moment. It's time to list up all the players that I've been uh, picking up since the start of the episode. Um, I think that it took me three hours to record this episode um, and I played four games which have been about an hour so the remaining time, probably about two hours, was spent, um, you know, trading and picking up these bargains. I did get market locked a couple of times, which is always frustrating, but it's just something you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have to deal with. Anyway, you can see there, Sifsi going up. Trezeguet, who you saw me buy for 200 coins, we're gonna be listing him for 2,900. Whether he'll sell it, I don't know. Boy, you also saw me picking up. I pick, uh, selling him on for 2k. Um, Cinema A, we picked up for 300, 1k. Um, you end up picking up quite a lot of goalkeepers in this method, which is unfortunate because they're the ones you don't really want. But you can't be specific when you're sniping. You have to just literally try and snipe everything that appears and we're not losing money on them either even if we are selling them for 450 you know if, if we bought them for 350 we're selling them for 450 we're still making like 50 coin profit so that's not too bad at all maybe even a little bit more uh, we've got this Alkilic for 200 there he's going to be listed up for 2k another right back here this time from Gaza Tassarai he's going up for over the 2k mark uh, Seg Bethia, I think you saw him in the last episode, he's going to be one of my favourites because I picked him up for 250, selling him on again for 2.5, there's the bullet listing up for 5.7k, which is just crazy considering I got him in a free uh, silver gift pack, very nice of EA to be paying out like that. And uh, we're just going to list up the final couple of players, as you can see, Findlicky and uh, Bernican all going up. And as you can see, they're already selling, well, one of them's already sold, the one we listed up to actually get the, uh, the challenge done. And I thought, Tom, you're working so damn hard, go reward yourself, get yourself a nice player. So I decided to pick up Zhao Mario from Inter Milan. God, this card is going to be an absolute monster. It was one of the cards that actually made it into my um, Serie A God Squad, which was like full team of the season last year. I was using his inform in it all the way until the end of the game in FIFA 17. So uh, they moved him from, I think it was right mid into the central mid position, which is where his inform was. Fits perfectly into our squad. And uh, yeah, very happy to have him join our ranks. And of course, that is the highest rated player that we've signed so far. You can see he gets the check mark on the checklist. So we are moving forwards with the series. Although, you know, there is this whole checklist to finish and then there's a whole checklist as well to do um, 
after that as well. In fact, two whole checklists, including the Ronaldo that we're going to have to go and get. Now, speaking of Ronaldo, this guy has got two Ronaldos in his squad. This is a squad builder um, or squad battles. I'm going to keep calling it a squad builder challenge. You have to spare with me, guys. It's a new ser new uh, new game mode. But we're playing in a squad battle. Um, we are, again, on professional because I wasn't aware of how easy Legendary was. Not saying it's super easy, but comparatively, the amount of points you get um, compared to how difficult professional and world class is, I would highly recommend Legendary. Um, but you can see here that we are going in. Jao Mario gets himself on the score sheet, makes it 3-1. We get a penalty here as Kalinic is taken down in the box. I believe that's Laporte doing the dirty on him. We get our first penalty, I believe, of the series. I'm not really sure. We slide it away, make it 4-1. Happy days. And that is going to be how the uh, that game ends. And you can see here we're getting 900 and... Uh, in fact, we're just getting over the 1,000 mark. 1,050 points. Um, if that was on uh, Legendary, I would be looking at more like 1,900 points, I believe. So, yeah. We're moving up through the ranks, though, which is something good. We're up to Silver 3, which is pretty good. And uh, you can see we come back into the arena. We're up to 75,000 coins from our trading session. We haven't even sold everything yet. And, uh, yeah, you can see the bullet sold for 5.7k. I couldn't believe it. I literally couldn't believe it. I thought I'd sniped him. At the time, I thought I'd sniped him at the time for 200. But, you know... Um, I'd actually got him in the pack, which was crazy. And what's weird is I've seen him so many times since, but I've missed him every single time. It's so frustrating. I'm like, every time I see him, I'm like, that's 5k gone when I miss him sniping. But anyway, you can see I'm picking up some more players. Um, I th believe the guy's name is Padelli, the goalkeeper that we picked up. We're picking up Gahli Adino, I believe is how we pronounce it. I, th I looked at how you guys were spelling it in the comments of the last episode. And so that is, uh, I believe, how I'm going to try and pronounce it. And we also got Brozovic as well, a big signing. Another player that I was very fond of on FIFA 17. So hopefully he's going to do the business for us uh, in this squad as well. Now you can see here that we've got the three in our squads because that and that means the only thing we've got left to do is add them to the checklist. Now I know that there's probably some special cards in forms that have come out. Um, I had to record this ahead of time. I'm going home for the weekend to see my family. Um, so if there's any one to watch cards, which I know there'll be a Bonucci, I believe, and a whole load of other players as well, like Lukaku, etc., uh, that need to be added to checklists. I will do that when I get back. That'll be done in due course. We're nowhere near signing those players anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now I thought. You know what, we need to play an online game at some point today. So here we go, we're in our game and uh, we actually managed to score a nice little goal quite early on with Jao Mario, the man himself. Ball comes out uh, straight to him and he bangs it in off the post. Now, unfortunately, we do concede here. This guy's using a full Ajax team. You would think that Milan, to two Milan uh, clubs would be able to overcome Ajax, but it looks like we're doing... Not so well, because we're 2-1 down in the 30th minute, and I was very frustrated to be losing. You can see here we get a little bit of luck as Brozovic goes through and gets himself a debut goal. Rolls it in. We even get a trophy for that. I'm not even sure how that ended up going. And goalkeepers need to be approved slightly, in my opinion. Um, as long as it's my goal, my opponent's goalkeepers that are making the mistakes, though, I'm actually happy for them to be rubbish. So there you go. We end up winning that one 3-2. Nice little reverse par from Nigolan. Gets um, Kalinic in. And uh, that is going to signal the end of today's episode. So guys, if you have enjoyed, smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure you go and check out episode number one and two. Other than that, I'm going to leave it there and I will see you next time. Peace.